Hey Capricorn, what's going on? Hope everything is going well. Whoo, cards are already flying out. Let's go ahead and get into this. Please be sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. All right, if I resonate with you as a reader, Capricorn, we're gonna see what's going on currently in your situation with you and whoever's on your mind. And then we'll talk about what I see happening next. So stay tuned. Um, towards the end of the reading, we'll get into that. All right, so Capricorn, let's see. How are Capricorn and the person on their mind? How are these two moving forward together right now? Ooh, you all have inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. Okay, so you and whoever is on your mind... There's still, there's something here that continues to connect you all, all right? Or you and this person could definitely be like moving in the right direction, Capricorn. Um, all right. Literally, you could be at a distance with who this is, all right? So physical distance let's see clarify Capricorn's person the person on Capricorn's mind okay regret I wish this never happened Hmm. So, our love is always there despite the distance. So there's distance between you two. Um, maybe the distance was created by some sort of, you know, disagreement, Capricorn. You all possibly, you and this person have separated from each other, but I'm getting inseparable, inseparable, inseparable because there's still a lot of love there between you two, all right? You and whoever this is. But yeah, your person is dealing with some sort of regret here right now. Verify Capricorn. Shadow side. I want you to be a part of my future. So first time I've seen this card, commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. How you show up is you made me realize my flaws. Okay. Yeah, I definitely get <clears throat> your person has regrets about, you know, things that have happened in the connection with you, Capricorn. And um, it does seem like you're looking at different aspects of yourself. OK, like something about this connection has you doing possibly, you know, shadow work. Some of you could be going to therapy, talking with other people about this connection or this person. Um, a lot of love between you and who this is though okay clarify clarify how these two are moving forward together hand of cards take a chance being strategic options not showing hand which is interesting because there's two hands that are joined together, but it says not showing hand.
being strategic. So I feel like there's absolutely like a new start because you see the aces here. I think that there's a new start available here in this connection. All right. But there's risk involved. You know, your person may have to risk something here. Okay. Take a chance, risk. Um, maybe there's, you know, risk involved on your side here. Capricorn, all right? And not showing hand. Like, both of you are not telling each other, you know, what you want to do here. I, I'm getting that. Like, like neither one of you are, are telling the other person, hey, here's what I want to do. Here's what I see. You know, here's what I want for us, you know, future-wise. Things like that, you know, that, that's not being talked about right now. <clears throat> For some of you, this person I just heard regrets not taking a risk, Capricorn, when it came to you. Um, they regret not like trying different things with you. That's what I'm getting. Like they regret, like maybe I could have tried that with Capricorn, okay? Because I'm seeing options. Um, let me see. Maybe I should have strategized better. I just heard that too. Maybe I should have strategized better. Um, maybe I shouldn't have said that like that. That was, you know, it's like they're regretting a few things. Like they're, they're, I see a person thinking about, um, things and I'm trying to hold it over here because there's a glare over here. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on. Your per, yeah, your person's like thinking about maybe I shouldn't have said that like that. Okay. Um, clarify. Uh, Capricorn's person. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming in. Hesitation. So there it is. Like, I see your person. Wanting to take a risk when it comes to you, Capricorn. But they're very hesitant, okay? Clarify um, Capricorn here. Keys on a ring. Many options. There's the options card again. Decision, unconventional, string along, or one night stand. Okay. I think um, Capricorn, a lot of you are exploring options right now, keeping your options open. I think for a lot of you, this person's very focused on you. Okay. Um, something about this connection, like, Something about the connection with you, Capricorn, is unconventional. <coughs> um, that's what I just got. Something about this person moving forward with you is unconventional. It's not traditional, okay? It's risky. Like, there's something risky here, okay? I think you're also taking a risk right now. And you're exploring other options, okay? The decision may be more on, um, like, there's something about you having to make some sort of decision, Capricorn. All right? There's some sort of choice on your end, okay? This person could be hesitant to ask you, what is your decision, Capricorn? I just heard that. Like, what is your decision? What do you, what do you want here? All right.
And yeah, you may also feel like, you know, you have decisions to make right now. Clarify how these two are moving forward together, please universe or spirit. Let me let me shuffle these a, one one time. Don't forget to hit the like button if it if it's making sense to you. Clarify how Capricorn and their person are moving forward together, please. Universe or spirit. Alright. The devil. That's your energy. Alright. Um, uh, so obviously the devil represents confusion. It is Capricorn. It's also Scorpio for me as a reader. I, I feel like you have more control here, Capricorn, than what you think. All right. So that's what I just heard. You know, you may not know that. Um, but from what I'm getting, uh, you do. Now, this could indicate that there is a, the way you two are moving forward right now, Capricorn, is a, is in a lower vibration, okay? Really, the devil is like the lowest vibration. It's, it's, you know, root energy. Um... Could be a lot of sexual chemistry here between you two. This could be a very um, sexual relationship that I'm picking up on. Um, and that can be, like it says on the card, the enslaved man and the enslaved woman. That can be what is keeping you and this person very tied to each other, all right? Um, is through intimacy. Maybe, you know, this person Maybe that's why you both are inseparable, Capricorn, because there's a lot of chemistry between you two. I think you definitely have a hold on who this is, all right? For sure. I think you definitely have a hold on this. Um, can be karmic right now. Something about this uh, connection, the way you all are moving forward right now, Capricorn can something about it can be toxic something about it can be karmic okay um unhealthy right again confusion like seems to be a lot of confusion um gambling um yeah gambling being very risky. That's why I got like risk. Like there's, there's, can, can be very risky here. All right. Um, getting a bit of an obsessive energy as well. All right. Let me see the sun just came out. So I got that could be a Leo uh, here, Capricorn. Um, let's see, clarify Capricorn's person. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah. This is the energy of uh, restriction. Okay. Um, limitation. Lack mindset. Okay. You know, your person sitting here, you know, like I said, they're sitting here in regret. And that's what I was getting, like regretting being hesitant, regretting not saying something. Struggling. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's struggling. 
struggling for the bare minimum like he's holding up dollar bills so it's like your person maybe that's how they're looking at things with you like I'm, I'm struggling for the bare minimum or Capricorn you could feel like that's your person like you've been struggling uh, for the bare minimum from who this is they're giving you the bare minimum or they feel like they're getting the bare minimum from you Capricorn all right and go either way I also get a sense that this person could be feeling right now, Capricorn, like they're losing you, okay? Or, or also too, like you're keeping them in a, a box or, yeah, they're just experiencing a lot of restriction right now too. They could also be uh, feeling some sort of like financial restrictions as well, like just period in their life, okay? I definitely get on, get, get, get on, get that energy. Like they're really trying to like hold on to what they have here. They could be definitely experiencing some financial struggles here. Okay. For sure. Maybe when this person, um, you know, something about the connection with you, Capricorn, maybe, um, they have more money when they were with you. Right. Or maybe like you, you have told this person, like you've restricted this person from your finances. You understand? Okay. Um, clarify, but it's a lot of fear. I will tell you that, like how you two are moving forward right now with the devil being present. There's a lot of fear here, how you two are moving forward. It's moving forward, like in a place of fear and your person with this energy, with the, with the four of pentacles, it's like, kind of like a, you know, I've lost or all is lost, or I have to, I have to hold on to this because if I don't, like, I'm going to lose it all. Something like that. Um, whew, uh, some of you, are, some of you, this is about divorce or something like that. I'm getting a lot. Um, the Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Clarify Capricorn. Ooh, the Four of Wands. Okay, but there's the Moon and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so you have the Four of Wands. Oh no, Six of Wands. I'm sorry. Okay, so that makes sense. I was like Four of Wands. That. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, this is a card of victory. What'd I say? Like your person is taking a loss. Okay, so your person feels like they're losing. You're in a place, some of you are very recognizable, Capricorn. Very recognizable. Uh, you're very popular. Um, very attractive. Um, oh, I just thought about Lori Harvey. That's weird. She's a Capricorn, okay? Very attractive. You get a lot of attention, okay? And that's why, yeah. I was getting Capricorn, you know, you may have many options. You may have different decisions uh, to make. Some of you are being very celebrated right now too. For some of you Capricorn, you may not know this, but you're teaching like this person potentially a lesson, all right? this is karma so you're in a very different place like you're in a very different pl place right now um and that could be why your person is so hesitant on doing anything saying anything um they're they're i'm almost getting to like they don't have access to you like that right now like this person has limited access to you restriction and you are the opposite here. So they have like this Saturn energy, which is why, which is why um, I'm getting that kind of restriction, right? And then you have Jupiter. This is Jupiter in Leo, all right? Um, it's funny because when I looked at the devil, the sun wanted to come out. So Capricorn, maybe you have some sort of Leo placement here. It could be Jupiter literally in Leo. Maybe you have a Mars in Leo, okay? Um, but right but when I looked at the devil, it it was like when the sun came out, I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I was, I, I don't, I've, I felt it wasn't a bad energy. Okay. <laughs> um, so I feel like, so yeah, someone's definitely regretting um, letting you go. They don't want to let you go or they feel they're regretting. Okay, let's go back to what I said. They're regretting something they did. They're regretting something that they said to you, okay? 
um, I wish this never happened. They, they're, it's something that they're regretting here. And, um, you know, it's kind of like they can't take it back now. It's too late. And remember I said, I feel like you're teaching this person a lesson, okay? So it's like, they can't take it back, it's too late. And now they have restricted access to you, but you're in this, so let's go back to, they're in a place of like limitation and you're in a place of expansion. Jupiter is the opposite of Saturn. That's why, you know, like when, when uh, Jupiter goes into Capricorn, it doesn't like it. It's like, you know, I, oh, I got to play by the rules now. You know what I mean? Or so it's interesting. Jupiter is on your side here. Um, you're you're making the rules. OK. You're making the rules. And I think that you're also operating in a very unconventional way here, Capricorn. You're doing things that you want to do, all right? Highly attractive, um, highly sought after, all right? Okay, so let's, that's what I see so far, all right? All right, Caps. Let's see what happens next. What happens next? I keep seeing this commitment card for you because <laughs> you have options. Okay, you have options. All right, here we go. So what happens next with Capricorn and their person? How are these two moving forward next? Ooh. All right, I am always longing for you, daydreaming. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. Hmm. Well. Dun, dun, dun. And here's the cliffhanger. All right. So Capricorn, if you feel like this reading made sense and you can benefit from watching the extended, the link is in the description. Top of the comments for Vimeo. All right. So this is the first part of your reading. This is everything I see happening now. If you want to see what I pick up happening next, right? Feel free. Come follow me over to Vimeo. All right. Link in the description, top of the comments. I think I just said that. Capricorn, if this is where we part ways, thank you for letting me do your reading. Thank you for watching. I, um, I enjoy it. All right. And I will see you all very soon. Take it easy on yourselves. Enjoy your week or enjoy your day whenever you see this. And I'll see you soon. Peace.